As we go through our workday, we touch a lot of surfaces, some of which might be contaminated. Millions of workers every day are at risk from contaminations called blood-borne pathogens. Blood-borne pathogens are present in infected human blood and certain other bodily fluids, and some of them carry potentially fatal diseases. No matter what kind of work you do, you should always be aware of the risk of exposure to blood-borne pathogens, because when you know the risk, you can take precautions. You can be exposed to a blood-borne pathogen by touching an infected person or their secretions, or you can be exposed by touching something that has been contaminated by an infected person. So how do you protect yourself? You have to understand that something can be contaminated and the infected organism may not be visible. For example, linens, tabletops, washrooms, door handles, anything that may have been used or touched by someone else can spread a dangerous germ or virus. When you come into contact with an infected surface, the organism can transfer to you. Once it is on your body, any body opening can allow this pathogen to enter your system. This includes your nose, mouth, eyes, other body openings, any mucous membranes, and any cuts, abrasions, or any other breaks in the skin. For example, if an infected person coughs or sneezes on a table, which is not cleaned after use, and then you touch the table with your hands, the infection may now be on your hands. If you rub your eyes or eat anything, the infection can pass into your system. This can be prevented by following simple guidelines that will protect you from exposure. You don't know if someone with a contagious disease has touched the surface, so good hand washing is the first and most effective method to prevent spreading infections. Always treat blood, body fluids, broken skin, and mucous membranes as if they were infected, and use proper gloves before cleaning anything that may have been exposed. Wash your hands before putting on gloves and immediately after removing them. If soap and water is not available, you can use a waterless hand sanitizer. Never touch clean objects with contaminated gloves and avoid touching your face, eyes, nose, or mouth until after you have washed your hands. Protect yourself from bloodborne pathogens, use appropriate disinfecting agents, and use proper hand washing techniques. Thanks for watching and have a safe day.